Hi everyone, welcome back to the part two of my birthday dress. This time we are going to start sewing. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to start with the neck of my dress. So I'm going to face the neck with the facing that I cut earlier on. So that's, that's the neck of the back of my dress. So um, that's the back of my dress. That one is two piece because it's going to have zip at the middle that is going to join them together. So that's the facing. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to face it like that. I'm going to look at the wrong on the right side and I'm going to sew it that way. The wrong side will be on top and the right side and the right, the right side of the facing and the right side of the dress. They are going to face each other like that and I'm going to sew them. So this is how I'm going to do it. That's it. The right side and the right side are going to face each other like that and I'm going to sew it round. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get, let me go on the sewing machine and sew it. That's what I'm going to do. Then that's it on the sewing machine. I will backstitch my sewing. I will first backstitch because to secure my sewing, I will take like half inch. I will sew like half inch like that and I will backstitch when I finish. So now I'm going to notch it, the neck, because it's round. So when you flip it like that, it's going to be like squashed together. So now I'll just cut it like that, like six places. So make sure when you're cutting, you can see, don't get to where you sew, because when you get to where you sew, you're going to ruin your sewing. So the next thing I'll do is that I'll take the one I've sewn and turn it over to the facing and i'll sew it down to give me a really neat sewing there so i'll show you what i've come up with and that's it you can see guys it laid it laid very well i haven't high on it and you can see the way it lays and i've done that for the for the other one the other neck the back one as well and the front and that's it everything lay properly so the next thing i'm do now so the next thing i will do is just join the shoulder as you can see I face the right side and the right side is together and the facing, the, the top one, the facing is on top and the down one. You can see the facing down and I flip it over, over on top of the other one like that. You can see what I'm doing. Just look at what I'm doing, guys. Just look at what I'm doing. Yes, and I'll go on my sewing machine. And this is what I've come up with after sewing it. I've done the two shoulder. I've joined the two shoulder together. So the... So the next thing I'm going to do from my shoulder, I lay my, sh I join my shoulder, the first one and the other side. I join the two shoulders together. I'm doing the front of my dress now. Then I take the side where the armholes stop. I make sure both of them lay together. What I'm trying to do there, I want to get my darts. So from the middle of my front dress, I measure four inch and that's where the four inch stop. That's where the four inch stop. And from the shoulder of my dress, I measure 17 inch because that's where my body belting is. I'm size 14, UK size 14. So, and my waist is 32. So I measure four inch from the middle of my front dress and four inch like that that's the four inch that is in the middle so in total both of them is going to be eight inch and the rest i iron it out so to create to create my, my dots now from where my belly button stop i measure four inch and i slant it out with eight, half inch in i slant it out because that's where my um that's that's where my under bust is so and i do the same thing on on down I measure four inch where my belly button is up. So in total, the length is eight inch. But I'm going to do it like a, a, a slant in like that. I'm going to cuff it in the way I'm sewing it. The way I the way I measure, the way I mark it, that's the way I'm going to sew it. And I'm going to show it. I'm going to show you how I do it. And this is what I have done. So from where the first dart starts and the second dart, I've got eight inch there. So this is the, what I've come up with. So as you can see, from my shoulder to my belly button is 17 inch. Then I measure, I measure four inch there, and I measure four inch there. So and in total I've got eight inch, and I slant it like that, in and then out. So that's what I've done for the four of them. So that's. So the next thing I will do now, I'm going to join. I'm going to add my zip to it. So I'm going to start from the um 
the end of my dress like that i'll start from there and i'll join it together and I'll, that's by my hand is that's where i'm going to stop because my zip is 20 inch so i'm going to leave 20 inch for my zip and that's it i've joined my zip I've joined my zip to it so the next thing i've joined the zip i've joined the side as well so as you can see the back of my dress it doesn't really have a big tail because that's how i want it i left 10 inch if you can remember if you want small tail you can just use 20 inch 30 inch it depends on you but that is what i want so the next thing i'm going to do is my sleeve now so i pleat my sleeve with the flared i pleat i do five pleats my my camera off there so i couldn't show you that part and that's the reason why i'm showing you this so i just pleat it like that so the next thing i'll do after pleating it i'll just sew it down yeah i've sewed it together i do five pleats on top then i sew in half inch there and i'm going to use my elastic band i'll run it through into my into that hole because i'm go i'm going to i want a I want it I want an elastic band there so I'll show you what I've done I can't really explain I'll show you just look at what I'm doing if you don't understand anything just look at what I'm doing and you'll get what I'm trying to say so after pulling it out like that and I'll put my hand inside to see how firm I want it so that's where it's gonna stop so I'll put my hand inside if it's free enough for me I like it that way and I'll go ahead and sew this side I'll sew this side like that and that's it. I'll go into my sewing machine and sew this side like that. So after sewing, I'll show you. Yes, this is what I've come up with. I've sewed it now and I'm going to join it with my, I like it that way. And I'm going to join it with my, the body. The next thing I will do, I'm going to join the sleeve. I'm going to join the sleeve and the body of my dress. So I will start from the shoulder. I'll start from the shoulder and I'll, join it there i'll put it there and i'll use the pin to hold it and i'll pin it round. i'll pin it round like that look at what i'm doing i'll pin it round like that because i've already have got the measurements and they are both the same so i'm going to just pin them around i'll pin them around i'm turning it to the wrong side i pin them around make sure you pin everything around make sure everything is in place yeah after pinning them around then i'm going to go ahead and sew it round and i'm going to do both sides and i'll join i'll m the, the 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 end of my gown i'm going to m it then i'll come back and show you and this is what i've come up with guys i've joined this side i've make sure everything is okay this is the way i want it everything is fine now so the next thing i want to put my embroidery patches on them because that so i'm gonna put my embroidery patches this embroidery patches i got it off ebay is 11 it comes in 11 in a pack and i bought um three packs which gave me 33 so i'm gonna place all the 33 where they should be that's how i like it i'm just being creative i just put them there and if you want to see how i do this i high on it then i tack it if you want to see i'm gonna link a video how to DIY your embroidery dreams you will see the way I achieved that go and check on the video thanks everybody for watching my birthday was so nice I really enjoy my day thank you for watching my video today please do subscribe to my channel share my video with family and friend comment on my video if there's anything you don't understand just comment there and I'm gonna get back to you I'm gonna explain more better to you thanks everyone catch you up in my next video. Bye.